welcome back my lovely so i did this particular set on my instagram and you guys loved it so we're going to be recreating this look today <music> so we are going to start off by cleaning the nails if you're new to this channel hi my name is victoria yes i am the victoria of victoria tcs <laughs> tcs stands for the classy splash that's the name of my studio but yes um we're going to be prepping the nails and um, what you saw me just do was clean the nails with nail polish remover or acetone and then right now i am cleaning the i'm um, trying to prep the nails while not cleaning well I think it's one and same thing <laughs> anyways i'm prepping the nails trying to get it ready for my acrylic application this step is like very important to me because i feel it gives me more nail space to work with and it, it just helps the overall um look of the nail and i'm able to remove all that dead cuticle cell that's not going to allow my nails last long so yeah if you want your nails to last long trust me you really really need to start prepping your nails better if this is your first time on my channel welcome 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 i'm so happy to have you guys here like you have no idea really really happy don't leave without subscribing i post up nail videos and any other thing that jumps into my head as long as it is smart it is beautiful and it is fun i will be posting it on my youtube channel so stay tuned join the family don't be shy we don't buy it <laughs> anyways join the family and for my already subscribed followers fans people family <laughs> i don't know what to call you guys but thank you so much for always staying true i love you guys trust me i love you guys so much and can you see we, we're growing like we're actually growing which is good news for me we're actually growing we just need to get that watch hour you know up and nice so anyways um i moved in after pushing back a cuticle and removing um the dead cuticle cells i moved in with a hand file and then i remember that weight is like i like suffering because what am i doing when i have an e-file that can get the job done in a matter of minutes so yeah i switched from my hand file to it to an e-file because the e-file will even help me get into that cuticle area more if you don't have an e-file not to worry you can use your hand file like your hand file will totally get the job done it's just that an e-file makes it faster to be honest let's not lie an e-file makes it faster And once I'm done with my nail prep, I'm going to move into um, the fixing of the nail tip. I always check if my nail tip is straight. If you want to know how I achieve this, you can check my, out my video on how I work with crooked fingers, like how I fix nails on crooked fingers. So I will link that up um, in the card. So yeah, once I get it straight, I tighten the corners, but trust me, you'll find an in-depth video of how to do this in the cards do you understand 
you see me testing to see if the nail tip fits if it fits i add my glue and then i just glue it onto the nail check if it is straight and if it's straight i lock it in have you guys been though like have you guys been good what's been going on you know let's have a chat in the comments let's let me know what's going on and yes i've always said this if you want to see me do a particular like you want me to focus on a particular aspect just let me know in the comments and i'll do that so what you see me doing now is i'm shaping the nails you know the nail was a stiletto before i cut it into a coffin and now i need to shape it back into a stiletto because that's what she actually really wants but she didn't just want it as long as the stiletto that was there before and that's what you see me doing here basically shaping <music> i'm done um with my shaping i go in to clean the nails like the nail plates you know try to get rid of all of that dust we don't want that and as you can see i've already done the second hand so i'm just filming showing one hand but trust me i'm working simultaneously working on the other hand also and here you see me going in with my primer this is an acid based primer so you see me doing one coat and also i don't like put it on her skin i make sure that it doesn't touch her skin because you want to try as much as possible to avoid your primer touching the skin of your client because it could irritate her skin so you just want it within the boundaries of the nail plate and it will spread trust me primers spread a lot and now it's time for my acrylic application i honestly just really love applying acrylic you see that i pretty much got the shape i wanted 
before like while i was filing prepping preparing the nail for the acrylic application basically so it has made me apply my acrylic like very very seamless which is a good thing because you need that to be able to cut down on filing time so once you focus on shaping your nails properly and then applying your acrylic um be the right way on the nails you would realize that um what's it called you would save more time when it comes to filing So I basically just repeat the same steps over and over again so I'm just going to move into shaping for this I popped out my e-file um, and I'm just basically when I bring out my e-file here I always just try to use it for debulking I don't know why I'm, I'm very used to filing with my hands because for years I was filing with my hands so I'm used to using the e-file but I just always prefer it. I always just use my e-file for debulking and for my cuticle work, to be very, very honest. That is where I focus on my e-file the most.
after I'm done with my e file, I go in with my hand file to make everything crisp and smooth. Trust me, I am not even being aggressive at all. Like this nail, I don't know, I'm not aggressive at all. And I think I slowed down. I think because the video is sped up, that's why it's looking like I'm going at it like I'm washing jeans. But um, I think I put in a footage where I was like using my normal real time to do the work here is me in real time no jokes guys like i can be fast or i'm fast so that's why it looks like you know i'm scrubbing the life of our destiny away <laughs> but honestly this is how i file on a norm this is like the speed i work with if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe like what are you waiting for You've made it to this point in the video so you're clearly enjoying it <laughs> please subscribe ask me questions leave comments like ask questions tell me what, what you guys want to see like i think the teacher in me is coming out right now but ask questions let me answer and show you guys <laughs> i'm done with my filing shaping and making sure everything is crisp i always go in with my nail buff you know to make sure that the nail the surface of the nail is smooth the smoother it is um the more seamless your gel application is going to look you don't want it to look like it is having ridges or rough edges or <laughs> as i said rough edges i remember that greek <laughs> rough edges anyways now that's smooth um i got my clients to my client to wash her hands and i'm just going to go in with the design i know that this is what you guys have been waiting for so um i'm just going to go in with the design i'm going to be using a black base because i feel like with most of these chrome colors the black bases always look better to be very honest the um if you use a light um base it's well it makes the chrome pigment look lighter but we want this color to be like in your face like cow that kind of thing yeah anyways i'm just going in with my design um the first client that came was actually the person who brought this design i can't i don't know where she saw the design from all she came with was um a screenshot of the nail so i would have like giving honor to whom honor is due but i don't know to whom honor is due okay 
but anyways you see me i'm um, going in with my um stripy brush which also doubles as my detailing brush because this brush ha if you guys know my videos you would know that this brush has been saving lives since 1999 or something like that <laughs> anyway so you see me going in you know making my design more crisp that part was a little bit sharp i wanted it to look more like an s and honestly i'm not even going to lie this design looks so nice in black like even my client was like Ugh, are you sure we shouldn't just leave it in black and she's not the only person who said that the first person also said are you sure we should not leave it in black what i convinced them to go ahead with the chrome because you shall pay me more if it is possible okay so anyways what i mean by that is most people or no not most people all my clients pay based on the kind of service that they get so if i want this plus that i want that plus the amount i want this plus the amount so if you minus something that's minus the amount we don't want that no 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 we want plus we don't want minuses so you see me basically going in with the design um all the nails have like different patterns but you find a similarity between them for example the stripe at the tip on this one comes you know across the tip of the nail well for the first one which was the pinky that i drew it was just on the side but the um top part is basically the same thing i did for the pinky and yeah i'm just going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the design process because this was fun to make honestly and for those of you who have been looking at my nails don't worry i'm getting them done i am getting them done my nails look like that so that y'all's nails can look like what you're seeing okay at this point i was already telling myself am i sure i will not leave her nail black like this because the black was given it was so nice for we have to you know progress in it basically then one thing you absolutely have to make sure of is that wherever you make a boo-boo please take it off immediately because if that dries trust me by the time you apply your chrome it is going to sit on that mistake so you want to make sure that wherever you don't want your chrome you don't put the base color like just don't do it oh, but this black looks so you guys what do you think do you think i should have left it black because 
that just looks so delicious Once that dries in the lamp, I'm going to go in with this chrome pigment I got from Shop TCS on Instagram, and I'm just going to rub that into the blank, into the <laughs> into the black. This was the, one of the main reasons why I didn't want to top coat before applying the black gel, because um, because if the base coat was underneath this, the glitter will be catching onto the base coat. Trust me, and it is so annoying. God. And that was the main reason why I was saying that if um, you have any the color stick on any part you don't want it on, make sure that you clean it ASAP. This um, particular chrome is even more forgiving because it's more gritty than the normal ones that are fine powders. You see those normal ones that are fine powders? Those ones, ugh, they're like curses. <laughs> because this, you can easily just use your brush to, you know, dust off any excess but you see those powder ones all those places that you know my my um black got stuck on and i just wiped i would have to have like cleaned it like properly so that there won't be any tacky layer there at all at all because if it was finer than this um it would definitely stick but this is what we're looking like right now and i'm just going to go in with my base coat to um seal out i don't know i always just do this i like doing it anytime i apply chrome i always like going in with my base coat to seal it out at first before i now go in with my top coat so i use my base coat to dry it out for like 60 seconds not like dry it out for 60 seconds and then i go in with my um my top coat like i said this um pigment is more glitter like john stan so it was catching on to like the base but it wasn't that bad trust me it wasn't even that bad at all so this is me applying my top coat now <laughs> i am super happy and super pleased about how these nails turned out they are so chic and i'm just going to put that top coated nail back in the lamp for 60 seconds also and yeah let's look at the reviews <music> Okay, so before you leave guys i want you guys to decide for me the one to the left is the one i did at first the one to the right is the one we just did which one do you prefer which one do you think is cooler let me know in the comments don't forget to share like subscribe and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video